inspiration, a fascinating and multifaceted phenomenon that has captivated the minds of philosophers throughout history. From Plato to Jordan Peterson, many great thinkers have explored the meaning of inspiration and its role in our lives. In this video, we will explore the perspectives of Gabor Mate, Albert Camus, Jordan Peterson, Plato, Socrates and Aristotle to gain a deeper understanding of the meaning of inspiration in our lives. Gabor Mate, a renowned physician and author, views inspiration as a source of healing and connection. According to Mate, true healing comes from within, and inspiration is the key to unlocking our innate capacity for self-healing. He believes that inspiration is not simply a burst of creativity or a moment of epiphany, but a deeper, more profound connection to our inner selves and the world around us. Mate argues that inspiration is a state of mind in which we are fully present and connected to our innermost selves. When we are inspired, we experience a sense of flow and ease, and we are able to tap into our creativity and intuition. This connection with our inner selves is essential for our overall well-being and helps us to overcome the challenges that life throws our way. Albert Camus, a renowned philosopher and author, views inspiration as a source of meaning and purpose. According to Camus, life is inherently meaningless, but we can create our own meaning through our actions and experiences. In his view, inspiration is the spark that ignites our search for meaning and the driving force behind our quest for authenticity and freedom. Camus argues that inspiration is a call to action, a reminder that we have the power to create our own reality and make our mark on the world. When we are inspired, we are motivated to pursue our goals and to live our lives with purpose and intention. This sense of purpose and direction is essential for our overall well-being and helps us to navigate the complexities of modern life. Jordan Peterson, a contemporary psychologist and author, views inspiration as a catalyst for personal growth and transformation. According to Jordan Peterson, inspiration is not just a feeling, but a call to action a reminder that we have the power to transform ourselves and our lives. Peterson argues that inspiration is closely linked to the concept of meaning and that we need to cultivate a sense of purpose and direction in our lives in order to experience true inspiration. When we are inspired, we are motivated to take action and to pursue our goals with passion and determination. This sense of direction and purpose is essential for our overall well-being and helps us to overcome the challenges that we encounter along the way. And now let's get to the heavy hitters from Greece. Plato, a philosopher of ancient Greece, viewed inspiration as a divine force that was essential for the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom. According to Plato, inspiration came from the gods and was a gift that was bestowed upon those who sought knowledge and truth. Plato argued that inspiration was essential for the development of wisdom and that it played a crucial role in the pursuit of knowledge. When we are inspired, we are able to tap into a higher realm of consciousness and to gain insights and knowledge that are beyond our ordinary understanding. This connection with the divine is essential for our overall well-being and helps us to attain a sense of enlightenment and fulfillment. Let us now turn our attention to the view on inspiration of Socrates one of the most influential philosophers of all time. Socrates believed that inspiration was a divine gift and that it was the source of all true wisdom and knowledge. According to Socrates, true inspiration was not something that could be acquired through external means, such as books or lectures. Rather, it was something that came from within, a spark of divine wisdom that could only be accessed through the deep contemplation and introspection. Socrates believed that the purpose of human life was to pursue wisdom and knowledge, and that inspiration was the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. He believed that by cultivating a sense of inspiration in our lives, we could connect with the divine and unlock our full potential as human beings. To Socrates, inspiration was not just a source of knowledge, but also a source of moral guidance. He believed that by connecting with the divine through inspiration, we could learn to live virtuous and meaningful lives and to fulfill our highest potential as human beings. In many ways, Socrates' view on inspiration can be seen as a precursor to the idea of the muse 
in ancient Greek mythology. Like the Muses, Socrates believed that inspiration came from a higher power and that it was the key to unlocking our creative and intellectual potential. In conclusion, the view on inspiration of Socrates emphasizes the divine nature of this powerful force and the transformative potential it has to unlock our full potential as human beings. By cultivating a sense of inspiration in our lives, we can connect with the divine and unlock our highest wisdom and moral guidance, leading us to a more virtuous and fulfilling life. Now let's turn our attention to the view on inspiration from Aristotle, one of the most important philosophers in Western history. Aristotle believed that inspiration was a natural phenomenon, rather than a supernatural one, and that it could be cultivated through certain practices and habits. Unlike Plato and Socrates, who viewed inspiration as a divine gift, Aristotle believed that inspiration was something that could be acquired through hard work and discipline. He believed that the key to inspiration was to develop good habits and to practice intellectual and moral virtues. To Aristotle, inspiration was not just a source of knowledge and moral guidance, but also a source of happiness and fulfillment. He believed that by cultivating a sense of inspiration in our lives, we could live a more virtuous and fulfilling life and achieve true happiness and contentment. In many ways, Aristotle's view on inspiration can be seen as a middle ground between the views of Plato and Socrates on the one hand and the more secular views of modern thinkers on the other. While he acknowledged the role of the divine inspiration, he also believed that it was something that could be cultivated through human effort and discipline. When we compare the views of Aristotle with those of Plato and Socrates, we see some important differences. While Plato and Socrates viewed inspiration as a divine gift that came from the gods, Aristotle saw it as a natural phenomenon that could be acquired through human effort. Additionally, while Socrates emphasized the moral guidance that could be gained from inspiration, Aristotle saw it as a source of happiness and fulfillment. Despite these differences, however, all these three great Greek philosophers shared a deep appreciation for the power of inspiration and recognized its ability to transform our lives in profound and meaningful ways. Whether viewed as a divine gift or a natural phenomenon, inspiration remains a vital part of the human experience and a source of wisdom, guidance and fulfillment for all those who seek it. Connecting all the dots and comparing ancient Greek philosophers with the modern ones, and those in between, one could argue that inspiration is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that plays a vital role in our lives. From Gabor Mate, Albert Camus, all the way down to the Greeks, inspiration is a catalyst for personal growth and transformation. And each of these perspectives offers a unique and valuable insight into the meaning of inspiration. This was Dare to Do Motivation in a short essay on inspiration. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, Stay blessed.